We are going to talk a little bit about tonight about uh, Josh's sort of topic, right? The overall idea and the focus of what he's going to be bringing you some ideas on is what we call building fretboard connections. So building fretboard connections is sort of the, the subject uh, of, of all the lessons tonight, as well as some of the stuff that we'll be talking about this week. So Josh, tell us a little bit about what does that mean for you? What do you, when you talk, when you say fretboard connections, what are you thinking of? Okay. So for me, fretboard connections, uh, yes, we're talking about on the guitar, how to connect the dots, but I'm also talking about just overall music connections. It's really building bridges between spots on the neck, but also between chords and ideas, creating a flow so that all your dots can get connected like you're following a path, you're, you're leaving breadcrumbs behind you, you're kind of just, just making everything flow smoothly. So that may mean that your, your improvisation is informed by where you are on the neck and how you know how to connect into other chords and things. But it also may be uh, technical or harmonic ideas, things like using chromaticism or using diminished chords or augmented chords or using turnarounds, things to, to create a bridge between one moment in music to another so that the solo flows through seamlessly and creates, you know, a real kind of attitude and forward motion. So it's really like building bridges across the fretboard, but also just in your musical knowledge. 